Hello and welcome back to the Dividend Experiment, the channel that can help you build a portfolio that pays your bills. If you're anything like me, it's nice to see the potential of your investments and how far they can go in terms of dividend income. I think a lot of people dream of being able to raise enough passive income from their dividends so they can quit their jobs and retire. Well in fact, it can be easier if you move abroad. Working in a high income country and then living in a low cost of living country can be a great arbitrage to help you reach your goals. This video is going to look at 5 cheap countries inspired by an article by Forbes. The prices are estimated by the author and will obviously differ depending on lifestyle choices and therefore can't be applied to everyone. It's also important to think that this article is in US dollars and therefore slightly US centric. I personally can't vouch for all of these as I've only been to 3 of them, but I can see the potential in all of them. Ok now that that's out of the way, let's get to the 5 countries that you can move to and retire on dividends. Number 1. Portugal Where to move Whether you're looking for fine museums, hiking paths, surfing beaches, ancient ruins or places to polish your golf game, it's easy to find it in Portugal. In most regions of Portugal there's a pleasant climate year round. If you want an urban lifestyle, check out Lisbon, the oldest city in Western Europe, or Porto, the second largest metropolitan area. For a quieter way of life, look to the secret hill towns like Marva, the highest village in Portugal, and Castelo de Vide, which has lots of stores, cafes, restaurants, and awesome mountain views. British and other European expats have been settling in the Algarve for years. An interesting option with Portugal is it offers a golden visa where you can invest in property and receive citizenship. So if you have enough for the criteria, it doesn't matter what your current nationality is right now. So how much does it cost? In the capital city of Lisbon, a couple can live comfortably on about $2,200 a month and it's much less if you're a single person. In smaller cities in the country's interior, a couple's budget will be about $1,700 per month. And there are areas where your money goes even further, like Peniche on Portugal's Silver Coast, where you can live for less than $1,400 a month. Now if we do a simple calculation using the current yield of the dividend experiment, which at time of making this video is about 6.5%, we can find out how much one would need to save up in order to afford to retire in Portugal, theoretically. We'll take the comfortable figure as it's safer, so that's $2,200. Now there's 12 months in the year as I hope you already know, so we multiply 2200 by 12, which is 26,400. So now we need to find out what sum would return $26,400 annually. So we divide it by 0.065, the dividend yield, and we get the total of 406,153. So that's under half a million dollars to retire comfortably in a capital city in a first world country certainly not bad at all. But we can go even cheaper than that. Let's take a look at country number two. Malaysia. One of my choices of potential countries is Malaysia. Malaysia, a popular expat destination since the 1960s, is known for its idyllic beaches, seductive islands and some of the most pristine ancient rainforests in Southeast Asia. Expats can own property freehold, there's no inheritance tax and Malaysia places no tax on income earned overseas. Malaysian law is based around the British system and all road signs are in both English and Malay which makes driving around easy. How much does it cost? In Penang a couple can live comfortably on $1,455 a month including rent. If you eat where the locals eat you can't go wrong with a meal for less than $5. As for healthcare, if you compare surgery prices between the US and Malaysia the benefits are obvious. So let's do that same calculation as before we would need 17,460 this time to live a comfortable life annually, which means we need a dividend experiment-esque portfolio of only uh, $268,615. Or in pounds, right now, that would be £207,000. That's less than most two and three bedroom houses in the south of England. If you don't want to move all the way to Asia, maybe the time zone is just too much to keep in contact with friends and family, let's look at a simple one for people from the USA, Costa Rica. So Costa Rica continues to be a top contender year after year on the list of countries for International Living's Retirement Index. There are so many reasons to love this stunningly beautiful Central American gem. There's affordable medical care, a dozen microclimates, abundant nature, warm locals, 
a straightforward residency process, plus pioneers who've already paved the way. Costa Rica also has the enviable luxury of peace and stability, which is unusual for many countries in this region. This year, the country celebrates 71 years since the abolishment of the army, making it the largest democracy without a military force. So where to move? Costa Rica is about the size of West Virginia for you US citizens, that's for some reference for you, but it has a wide variety of landscapes and climates. Choosing from rainforests, seaside villages and mountain towns. In the capital of San Jose and surrounding Central Valley, you'll find a temperate, eternal spring climate. Guanacaste is known for its dry, hot beaches. Around the pristine Lake Arenal, expats live in hills with lake views. So how much does it cost? In the Central Valley, home to about two-thirds of Costa Rica's population, a single person can live on between 1,500 and 1,800 a month. Many couples report living well on $2,000 a month, including all their costs. But that amount can go down to 1,585, depending on where you live and how you spend your budget. You can eat at a local restaurant for just four or five dollars, and a visit to a physician will set you back $50 or less. So let's take that comfortable budget of exactly $2,000 and do that same calculation again. So that makes it $24,000 a year and 369,000 in total portfolio size. That's a reasonable price to live in a tropical paradise. But what if you don't like spiders? Let's go back to Europe for country number four. Spain. Spain has the highest living standards and for a lot less than in the US. There's no question of having to give up anything in living here. In fact, you'll gain a lot, says Marcia Scarborough, International Living Spain correspondent. Outside the tourist zones, you may need to know a little Spanish to get by. But there are plenty of beach areas with large English-speaking expat communities. In Marsha's experience, Spanish people are friendly, helpful and curious about other cultures. Where to move to? Spain has a surprising range of climates, hot and dry in the south and cool and mild in the north. Many areas of the country have forests, mountains, stunning coastline and food to die for. There's even skiing in the Pyrenees and the mountains of the south. So how much does it cost? Spain has one of the lowest costs of living in Western Europe. Even in Madrid, one of the most expensive locations, you can live modestly on $2,000 a month. Rent is cheaper than the US and living in a city you don't need a car, which is a huge saving. Because of the warm climate, many basic food items are inexpensive in Spain as well. So same cost as Costa Rica, a nice warm climate in Europe and the Europe time zone too for a portfolio size of just $369,000. Maybe you're looking at those portfolios and thinking you won't reach them, or at least won't reach them when you're young and you want to fire financial independence early retirement. So let's take a look at country number five, the cheapest on the list, Vietnam. Modern cities, ancient historic sites, uncrowded beaches, and some of the most welcoming people in the world, and one of the strongest economies in Asia, this is Vietnam. Vietnam's exceptionally low cost of living is a major incentive, and most items cost less than half of what you pay at home. It's also an easy place to live, with English widely spoken. Where to move to? In urban areas, skyscrapers are popping up like dandelions, and motorbikes and automobiles outnumber cyclos and bicycles. Yet, 1,000 year old temples, ancient emperor's tombs, and ornate century old mansions left over by Vietnam's lengthy occupation by the French are constant reminders of a country rich in history and tradition. Vietnam's most expensive city is Ho Chi Minh City, followed by Hanoi, the historic French influenced capital city. If you live outside of Vietnam's two largest cities in places like Da Nang, Hoi An, Nha Trang, and Vang Tau, prices will be much less. So, how much does it cost? Even in Ho Chi Minh City in Hanoi, a couple can enjoy a comfortable lifestyle for less than $1,100 per month. But many Westerners get by on around $500 per month for a no-frills lifestyle. If you live outside of Vietnam's two largest cities, a budget of around $800 to $1,000 per month will provide a lovely house or apartment, all utilities, housekeeping, groceries, dining out every day if you choose to. And if you have a larger budget, you'll be living a life of luxury for a fraction of what you'd pay in the West. For this ultra low cost of living, let's do that calculation again for 1,100, which makes 13,200 a year, or a portfolio, that's modeled on the dividend experiment portfolio, 
of 203,000 US dollars, which is, to me, sounds insane. Just for the sake of it, let's do the calculation for the $500 for the no thrills lifestyle. Now, I don't recommend living like this as it's super risky if you get into medical trouble or something of that nature, but just nice to know that it's possible. So $500 a month is 6,000 a year, or a portfolio of only $92,000. That's 71,000 pound. Something great to think about and consider, even if you don't want to stay there forever, it can help grow your portfolio without working anymore. There are a lot of assumptions here, and I'm sure you'll be able to pick apart exceptions in the comments, so please feel free if you want to do that. I just thought it was an interesting thought experiment. If you like this video, give it a like, and if we can get to 50 likes, I'll get another 5 countries that can be retired to, in case you didn't fancy any of these specifically. If you think that the dividend experiment is interesting, then please feel free to subscribe. I buy a new stock every month, give you an update on how they're doing every quarter, and plenty of videos in between. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. See ya!